Alrighty, YouTube, welcome back to uh, Cardinals Rebuild for Episode 5. As always, you guys can watch this live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash werewolfpve. Um, start out, we just, Episode 4, we played the Houston Texans, beat them 61-30. to CJ Stroud had himself a bad game. We hit our fourth win of the season. Um... We got some weekly awards to view. Let's start there. <coughs> um, Thompson, free safety, three tackles, interception, and a touchdown return is Cardinals Defensive Player of the Week. NFC Defensive Player of the Week from the Cardinals. One of our guys. Um start out we have the Rams and then we have not much time I don't want the standings time left I believe we got what four games I guess I could have looked at the standings first but oh well I want to look at the schedule team schedule One, two, three, four, five, six games. I'm sorry. Um, so I want to get through this season here on this episode. Okay. Six games remaining. We're four and seven. The tank is not going great. It's doing all right. Could be worse. There are teams that are worse than us, though. Um, as looking at the standings. Eventually, we are 26th. The Giants are three and eight. Patriots are two and eight. Texans are two and eight. Dolphins are two and eight. Jags are two and eight. The Rams are two and eight. So we're not going to get the number one overall pick. Uh, Woe for Williams was not is not happening. It seems. Let's uh, talk to a breakout D DB about his development trait. I guess we're not. Oh, no, maybe we are. Garrett Williams. I can speak for the rest of the defense, but man, last week that was the best game I played this year. That does huge for another... It does huge things for a guy's confidence, you know. A game like last week, and man, I feel like I've arrived. Uh, hold the Rams to less than 200 passing yards or get Garrett Williams... One interception, force fumble, TFL, or sack. That's all on him, because that's that's all going to be on the sim. We're going to get torched by Danny Dimes, I'm guessing. Uh, team meeting, rivalry rematch. No need to try and do too much. Good way to go, Zach Ertz, being a team leader. Good on Zach Ertz. Way to be a team leader right there. Discuss the play of the offensive line. Yep, they did. They didn't suck. Players ready to negotiate contracts. Marquise Brown, nope. Uh, 
we may as well. Bring Corey Clement back because he's been helpful. <clears throat> Other than that, I don't really know if I want to bring anybody back. Some more player scouting. Um, Drake May, I think, will be there. But I mean, we need a wide receiver too. Any yours, I would be okay with. Kind of weird. Scouting is a lot more hands off this year than it was in years past, and I'm okay with it. <clears throat> um, franchise staff. Okay. It's the week to the Steelers. We lost. To go down to four and eight. That's all right. Uh, Breakout player. His star develop Garrett Williams now has star dev trait. Progress will faster than before. <coughs> Use me. Didn't get it done, we suck. Daniel Jones probably. Yeah, way to go, Zach Ertz here. Good. Good team captain. Let's cut the results of the last game. We sucked, probably. Yeah, I think we sucked. Uh, we lost 20 to 16. Oh, okay, so it could have been worse. Um, let's see what we got for players to upgrade. Let's see. Garrett Williams. Four skill points. How you doing, Ash? One more zone.
Case Cookus. <laughs> I don't even know if this is a real person. Yeah, he has to be if he's in the game. He's a real person. What does this guy look like? Oh, mother of Jesus. Everybody say hello to the real Case Cookus. Broke his fibula in the USFL, too. Oof. That's, that's Case Kokus already. Good for him. He gets a point. He's uh, not going to be on the team the following year. He's going to make a fine... Not. Uh... The rest can just be auto upgrades. It's a week pe <clears throat> past the Steelers. We don't get to go play Akrasher. Come on, please be a loss. It uh, doesn't say. Yeah, we lost. Lost to the Steelers 10 to 3. So we go down to 4 and 9. Five hundred XP. That's it, huh? Oh Why am I so quiet? I turned the game down. I'm also kind of sick, so I'm not talking as much. <clears throat> I turned the game down on my mic so it doesn't pick up uh, stuff behind me and sound ugly. Let's see, but okay. Uh, upgrade Buda Baker. This is the development trait. Superstar and Superstar X Factor players will progress faster over time. Players can improve their development trait by yeah, being able to turn the game in the league at their on my microphone down. Yes, I know how development this traits work. This is the abilities tab. Here you can see what abilities a player has and what effects they have. Oh, you'll hear me all right. I'm going to just sit like this and talk into the mic the rest of the night. <coughs> just just like this. This close. Filter on my microphone smells funny. 
I don't really like it. Let's look at the playoff picture. In the AFC, you have the one seed Baltimore Ravens, the two seed Buffalo Bills, the three seed Kansas City Chiefs, the four seed Indianapolis Colts, the five seed Pittsburgh Steelers, the six seed New York Jets, and the seven seed the Denver Broncos. Russ is cooking. Over on the NFC. <coughs> That is actually wildly uncomfortable. Over in the NFC, the one seed, Philadelphia Eagles. The two seed, Seattle Seahawks. The three seed, Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> the four seed, Minnesota Vikings. The five seed Dallas Cowboys, the six seed Washington Commies, and the seven seed uh, San Francisco 49ers. We're not doing that anymore. That's that's too uncomfortable. <laughs> that's too a little uncomfortable. Um. I'm glad, <clears throat> I'm super happy to know that the uh, Giants with Kyler are sucking just as bad as we would have with Kyler. Um, Vance Week. Got player upgrades for whatever reason. I don't know why. Oh, Paris Johnson, okay. Um I really should have went to power for run blocking, but oh well. Didn't think that through. Um not going to do anything. Not going to play this game. Going to send up to the Bears. Down to 4 and 10. Okay. Uh, same thing. We're going to upgrade players. Sim up to the final. We're gonna play the final game of the season since it's a home game. Uh, playing. Talk with the front office about playing, about finishing strong. But I don't want to win more games. The season's going exactly how I wanted it, assistant general manager. Like, this is exactly what I want. Like, exactly what I want. <laughs> Upgrade players. Okay, that puts him at 74 overall. Those guys can just kind of... 
get auto upgraded. Do we have a new mock draft? Mock draft. Mock draft available? I wonder. Uh. We don't. So. Advance the following week, please be four and twelve. Four and twelve, baby. Yes. And we got a new injury, so. I don't want to turn it around. I want to go four and twelve, or five and twelve. Feeling this injury is gonna be somebody important. It's gonna be the starter. It's gonna be Marco Wilson. Oh, I mean yes, but we're gonna sit Clayton Tune for the final game of the season. We're gonna give. So I want to see something real quick. And look at all these guys I could assign to make this team better. That I'm glad I didn't sign to keep this team as bad. Um, nope. Ooh, on practice squad. Vince Karanik. Oh. Thomas Graham. <laughs> Do you have anybody on any practice squads that kind of catch my eye other than Vince Karanik, which I'm not going to touch? Peyton Hendershot, ooh. That could be for next year. James McCourt. Sean Wade. Oof, no thank you. <clears throat> At least not this year. Um oh, punters. All Andy Lee. I got two punters I could just sign right. Okay, good. That's all I need to know. Okay, we are going to sit Clayton Tune for this final game. I didn't want NFL rosters. I am struggling mightily right now. Depth chart. Let's go with Dresser Win. Clayton Two will be guy three here. 
give him a day, give him the weekend off. As we get prepared for our final game of season one. Simulate strategy. 60 minute game. I gotta, one second. Uh, what do we want to do for uniforms here? I know what I want to do for Seattle uniforms. Not that. That's what we're going to do for Seattle's uniform. So can I make them worse? We'll go with these for Seattle. And for us, let's see. Let's go. Yeah, I think we're just going to go all red. Do you have a red helmet? Nope. Okay. Time to get torched by the uh, it's Seattle. It's NFL 24 on EA Sports. And we'll see Geno Smith. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Seahawks and the Cards. And it's coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here, as it will be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, it's January 7th, but we haven't seen you since New Year's Eve, so we have to say Happy New Year, one and all. And partner, Is this a Christmas Day game? No, but I wanted it to be painful on the eyes. Between division rivals, and you like what the NFL's done here, making Week 18 all division. I wanted games. this to be painful in the eyes. One of the more inspired moves by the league because they've made these matchups really count, and typically they mean something. Not a lot of coasting as people head towards the playoffs. But I do have to ask, January that Prater's kick. Is it too late to say it. We're kind of right yep. Up yes, I am. Aren't we about Happy New Year? Because you're not wrong. Be the subject of debate so out come the Seahawks now for their first possession and they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia it's Geno Smith as I remember back that in was ugly when he was drafted out of West Virginia he was coming off a back to back we see Geno Smith come in <clears throat> Hadn't seen Kenneth Walker in the backfield and we're starting off with their starting off with a pass to now Kenneth so Walker gain of three at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there these two teams they met up Isaiah Simmons with the tackle the with the Seahawks coming away victorious so a win here in Arizona would give them the season sweep the Smith's throw into the hands Joe Smith's throw complete to Kyle Lockett well, I think when they look at their offense they think to themselves weapons weapons everywhere and they want to move the ball around they want to spread it to different people but you absolutely know I did not want to call this play. Well, and that's what they just did on that play. It's a run. run. It's Ken Walker. Kenneth Walker. Oh, makes Buda Baker miss. Game of 18. Take this down to about the 38. Another big hitter there. This one good for Down to the 38. That's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten at the 38. First and ten from the Cardinal 38. And his throw 
Lance Walker's still eating. That's what I've been told three years ago. Two years ago, I'm sorry. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now this throw caught left side. Wide open. They're going to have another first down. To Ty Lockett again. Cardinals 23. Down to the 23. That's Ty Lockett's second catch. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met. Oh, this is going to go bad. They kind of predicted. DK Metcalf touchdown. touchdown. I sold out on the run. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are on the board first here this afternoon. Sold out on the run. And uh, there's a Seattle injury to Damian Lewis. Who the hell is Damian Lewis? It doesn't matter. They don't even show us. Here's Myers to boot it away. Myers kicked to 24. This guy's not my return man. I don't like this guy. He gets taken down to 23. Fenton. And we see, not Clayton Toon for the final game of the season. Dresser win. The final game, his first start. every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. I want to do one thing, uh, coaching. I have to do this every fucking game. Your team out to start a game, but there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader. And so Dresser wins first snap as a handoff to James Conner. No blocking. Zach Ertz did nothing. Bobby Wagner with the tackle. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. So after the run for no gain, here's We now see Dresser win back in the shotgun. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. And pass knocked away. Nope, no Clayton Toon this game. I just consider myself I just want we want to see Dresser win in some action. Seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, head coach isn't gonna be looking at the offensive line. Dresser win complete for about five. Makes it fourth and five. And that's gonna bring up a fourth down. Can we bring out Matt Hawk. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett back deep. Last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And take it right on the 30. Take it at the 30, get up to the 35. And it'll be Seahawks. We see Kenneth Walker come back out to him. Back out now comes Kenneth Walker in the Seattle offense. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We were watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I told you. Smith in the shotgun. Kenneth Walker next to him. Handoff to Walker. And he is taken down after a gain of nine by a flock of Cardinals. That's my English teacher right there. From the 44 yard line, here's second down at a yard. Back to throw, Smith. Smith in the shotgun, passing. I threw it right to Matthew. Christian Matthew, his first interception. And not first interception of the season, interception. Um, we'll take that. You're going to see Dresser win come back out. We are on the 41. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. Of Cardinal offense coming back out. Let's give you a look at the team of Seattle. Seattle's 41. 
Well, here we sit, week 17. That's her win back. More week in the regular season after this one. So, <laughs> one of these teams trying to make it oh over my God. Spot This guy might not make it to the end of the season. We will make it to the end of the season because this is the end of the season. He might not make it to the end of next preseason. Wow. That's her way to hand off to James Conner. James Conner has a whole game of seven. <laughs> Oh my. The Seahawks very strong in that victory a week ago. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles, created a lot of illusions, and especially just beat them man for man. That's the catch made for the first down. Fisher yeah, wins now two for four for ten yards. Down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And Dane lost a two for Dresser win. Got stuck up on the lineman. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping Greg it from loss. In motion. Presser win complete. Gain of two, though, to James Conner. Makes it third and ten. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Single high safety. To throw on third down. Win. Get this to Rondell Moore, game of about 17 to the 13, 15, I'm sorry. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And off to James Conner, game of four. He's down to the 10-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six from the 10. Second and six from the 10. First down at the four. Looking to throw. Win. Flushed out. And he has nothing. Can't get away. Had nobody to throw to. I just wanted to kind of get away. He's the culprit dropping him for a two yard loss. Loss of two. Play number nine on the drive coming up. And they play nine after the interception by Geno Smith. Back to throw. Win. And James Conner can't hold on. That makes it fourth and nine. And now fourth down. No, oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. We're going for it. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Going for them fourth and nine. What do we have to lose? Looking to throw. Win. Win. <laughs> End zone to number zero, Zach Pascal. Zach Pascal. Game is tied up or capitalizing on the interception by Christian Matthew. Well, with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up. Fourth down, probably. Okay, so he's And we've been using a rookie all year with Clayton Toon. I think now going for it. How you doing, Evo? Yeah, we went for it. Let him get some starts before this season is over. <laughs> and that Matt Prater's kick is a touchback. And we see Geno Smith come back out. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, I hope to God this is a handoff. It, it was. I called that right. And Kenneth Walker, nothing. Woke up 30 minutes before your alarm. Nice. 
<laughs> Kenneth Walker is coming back out. Yeah, there, there's that, and a handoff to Kenneth Walker. He gains about three, spun forward. Down to the 28. What's coming? I have to go the long way around. And Geno Smith throws that away. He's standing on his feet. Really force a punt. Dixon's punt. Fielded just inside the 20. Field of the 20 gain up to the 25. And the cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the reaction position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL. Throw on the run is completed just a win. Throwing a good one to Greg Dorkich there. We're up to the 43 of the Arizona Cardinals, our 43, and off James Conner, and loss of two. James Conner is not having anything going in this game so far. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. More in motion. And off. The jet sweep, here comes Moore. Moore breaks the towel, does not. The I've been good. Staying busy, loss of five there on that one. Three. And now it's third down. And that is the end of the first quarter. We switch ends. Teams all tied after one. Held up with the Seattle Seahawks. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Saving up for end stream starts now. <laughs> Fair. Tall task ahead I deserve it. A full 15 yards to move uh, third and 15 from the 38. I don't know if and I like calling this play right motion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Presser win takes the sack. With a big time sack on third down, it's a loss of seven. Loss of seven, we bring Matt Hawk out. Matt Hawk is on to punt. The ever dangerous Ty Lockett back there. Looks like he won't be having a return. He's calling a fair catch. Fourth and, fourth and 21, it's free, right? You see Geno Smith and Kenneth Walker come back out from their 26. In the pistol. An option. Buda Baker makes the play, though. Gain of nothing. Second and ten coming up. Actually, that's going to be the thumbnail right there. We're going to get that. <laughs> Me just diving at feet. I can he's flopping <laughs> yeah that was uh there we go okay second and ten after the read option to throw on second pass Smith. Gino Smith to Kenneth Walker, and we see an injury to offensive lineman Charles Cross. That's a big man wearing a bright neon green running down the tunnel. 
Oh, he's okay. And we he's now see 33. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Smith on third down. Pass complete. And there's a fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And Garrett Williams fumble recovery. We have seen this before. Thank you. We know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. From the 34 second, first second to Seattle turnover. Keeping us in this game, James Conner, misdirection. Uh, kind of tries to hurdle a man, but trips over him instead. Gain of nine. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected Clearly, that's to why block. they're 4th and 21 is free. Receivers, well, <laughs> kicks, kicks a man. Oh, pull that can't. Oh, no. And will be a couple yards shy of the red that wasn't fullback dive. didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. I don't know the what play I called that wasn't fullback dive. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. <laughs> and off to James Conner. Conner makes one man miss. He trips over somebody. Game of two. This is all going bad. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect. Oh my god. His keys made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that pass out of reach, dresser win, not even close. Makes it 38. marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect and that will send them back to the drawing board. the play fake. Win rolling to his left. And he's got it. <laughs> that play show, that play was so broken. That play got busted so quick. Dresser win running for his life. Finds Greg Dornick. <laughs> if Zach Ertz just standing in front of me being useless. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. Audible out, try and get some space. James Conner dives into the end zone. That's a touchdown. I'll drink to that. The third down heroics by Dresser Wynn to get us there. And you know what? I'm going to regret all of this. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Catch it, big man. Big man two point conversion. <laughs> Matt Prater getting assaulted. Get those feet in. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. I don't know if I've seen a fake field goal work this year. Or really in a long time. Dwayne Eskridge elects to bring it out. He brought it out. He gets punished at the 18. Here comes Geno Smith down. The Seahawks offense now. Eight now. 
Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's only been a tough stretch, partner, for both DK Metcalf catch up to the 35. Really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to him. Get out there now and get some points on this drive. Walker now on first and ten. Walker handoff. Tried to cut it back. Game got, went nowhere. On the play there, second down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Second and ten. On second down, here's Smith. Yeah, he's got Smith and Jigba. Jackson yeah, Smith and Jigba makes the catch. That puts, it, puts Seattle up at the 38. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. 27-yard gain. And off. Oh, this is bad. I've gotten burned twice on that play action pass trying to sell out for the run. DK Metcalf second touchdown. DK Metcalf. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Seahawks have come back to make it a two-point game. I need to stop selling out to try and take the run. Myers, connects on the PAT. Myers kick is up is good. Now a one-point game, now a one point game a as Dresser Wynn comes back two. out. And it's DK Metcalf who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. It will be coming out. Here's Myers, to boot Myers kick. 82, dude who has a touchdown return. Once this year, he gets up to the 25. We see James Conner. His one touchdown, seven, seven rushes for 23 yards. Hasn't gone a whole lot. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both And off to James Conner. He can't go anywhere. There's a flag. You know, I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading. And it's a hold. Let's see if anyone slips on Corey Clement. This makes it first and 19. Get things going in their direction. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And this will be incomplete. Marquise Brown can't hold on to the pass from Dresser Wynn. That makes it second and 19. Now we just need to. Sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. Corey Clement, he's free. Makes a man miss. Game of 31 up to the 46. Nickel defense makes sense, right? Five nickels in back. But then you go to six. What are you going to call that? And they call it a double it. <laughs> a dime, which is just very simple for them. The math doesn't add up. But I know one thing. Offenses love to run against dime defenses. Typically, the bigger guys have an advantage against the smaller defensive backs when they're blocking downfield. And yeah, we saw that advantage right there. On first and ten. Win. That pass knocked away. And we see it's have to go. Have a good one, Evo. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off play action. Win rolling to his right. Presser wins about to die. We're gonna throw that away. Make it third and ten. Now it's third down. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Steps away to his left. And that will be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to nope. get them back on. That was all on me. Well dissected by the offense. I had nowhere to go. Down. I got flushed out. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On is the putter Hawk as he gets this one away. 
It's a 39 yard punt and good coverage means good kick down at the 10. football as they take over deep in their own territory. DK Metcalf of the Seattle offense about set to take over once again. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Kenneth Walker, Definitely. gain of five. It's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things Another up. Another game, big run. Kenneth Walker up to the 33. 52 yards, 52 yards on seven carries. Seven carries. So they'll come up first and ten now from the We sell out to beat, try and stop the run. We can't. And going right back to Walker. Walker to taken down after a gain of two that game. time. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. BJ Owari with the tackle. Held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, Buda Baker from the backside coming to make that play. And third game, third and seven. Seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Smith. Smith to Tyler Lockett. Lockett bounces off a tackle. Buda Baker's the only man who can make him. That was Jackson Smith and Jigba, by the way. I thought that was Ty Lockett. Smith and Jigba, 65 yards, and the Seahawks have regained the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean... <laughs> Seattle takes a six-point lead now. Minute 50 remaining in the second quarter. After the touchdown, here's Myers. To boot Myers away. kick. Fielded at the one. Fielded just outside the goal line. Good return up to the 30. As we see Dresser win come out. Getting ready to go as they take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides. Oh, Dresser Wynn takes a shot. I want to slide there. Man, throwing his body out there, though. That's a gain of 10 for a first down. Now, that was a designed run. Now, remember, if a quarterback goes feet first, he's protected. But if he dives head first, he's not. On that play, he figured the risk was worth the reward. Throw to James Conner, gain of four. Call a timeout. Going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. That's <laughs> deflected, thankfully, by Warren. Couldn't hold on to it. Pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And he will have the first down. Besser wins. Second rush. That gets seven. another first down. And the card's going to call another timeout. Their second this is the second timeout we are at the 47 of Seattle. As we head toward halftime. Throwing on first down. Win. Dancing to his left. He'll get three How did that work? I don't know. Gave him about three. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. To throw on second down. Win. Looking left sideline. Incomplete. Third and seven. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. And that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about. A lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On third down, win. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. 
unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. He does not tune time. We're sticking with. We are going to stick with Dresser Lynn for this game. I can't blame that last one on him. He, the receiver just dropped that all the We just can't get anything big up here. We get the ball at the second start of the second half. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're all. Who blamed him for being 50 over 50? Well, that, yes. This will be the final play of the. Uh... Up the middle they run. It's, Walker. it's a run. Kenneth Walker upended. That will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game. He was a little slow to get up. Seattle up six. Studios in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon. Thanks very much. It's all down to this week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided. So let's get right to it. We'll start with a West Coast rivalry that's picking up steam once again. LA taking on San Francisco out at Levi Stadium. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. Brandon Ayuk, a touchdown reception. From there, we head east to Detroit. Check on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Jared Goff leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get over to Inglewood. See what's happening with the Chargers at home at SoFi Stadium. And they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one. Kadarius Tony up over 100 yards receiving with two touchdown grabs. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football at State Farm Stadium. And for the call, let's head back out to Glendale and hand it over to Brandon God. Okay, coach. Yeah, okay, we're been back. Going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Up six, getting the ball here. Uh, rip the Lions and rip the uh, chance of Adrian Martinez being the, the future of the Lions. And this kick, if he's, he is going to go all the way. Oh, no. There we go. And now he's on the ground dead. <laughs> he broke everything on that back foot. Is he going to get up? Still trying to get back to their seats from the concession. Andre Bacchelia. Is, is he going to get up? You just identified why the bulk of oh, he's up. Have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. Kick is up from Prater. It is good to go up one. Getting the. Uh, um well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special getting the pressure meter one there on the in the nine fifty remaining in the third quarter. And this yeah, one from Prater is gonna be a kneel down. Touchdown is this will be a touchback and bring it out to the twenty five. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. What is my defense doing? This is a problem. And the pressure will bring him down here. Williams gets the sack, loss of seven. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second Second and 17. Hand off to not snap. Kenneth Walker. And that, that ball is knocked out. 
third and 17 now. Smith in the shotgun. Clean pocket. And that ball batted away just in time. DK Metcalf was gone. And we force a punt with a chance now. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 33. Still at the 33, get up to the 40. We see Dresser win in the first action in the second half. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big Dresser win complete for seven yards. Is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Handoff to James Conner. James Conner. It's a little hole. Offensive lineman Elijah Wilkinson injured now. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. First and ten now from the 46 of Seattle. On first down, win. Buying time to his left. Yeah, I have to throw that one away. <laughs> I gotta see what this clip is. Now that'll bring up second down. That's gonna make it second and ten. Now's not the time to force the football in the places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart Up one from the 46. Oh, I'm gonna die. I didn't see that throw. It was too late. Zach, loss of 11. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. Makes it third and 21. Throwing on third and long. Win. He's gonna fire one deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Good play by the defender. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Thank God. Yeah, let's see what this clip is. Is it what I think it is? Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> Think. <laughs> he did that backflip and they just never got up. Everybody was celebrating around him and he just, he just laid there. Forever. Never got up. Seattle gets the ball at the 25. We see Jano Smith in the offensive line come out. Offense now set to come back out on the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talked to. Kenneth Walker, gain, completion, gain of six. Abram, Abraham Lucas, another offensive lineman going down. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. This one's a handoff to Kenneth Walker. Luda Baker makes the tackle after a game of... 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this Eight, afternoon. Ten. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Now Gino on first down. Gino throwing to nobody. Incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. 
Oh my. Thank God. Christian Matthew makes the touchdown saving tackle. I. Contain was broken by BJ Olawari, by me. And it was bad. Kenneth Walker gained of one that time. He's up to 98 yards on 13 carries. We're having this. He was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Smith. They'll find Metcalf. Find Metcalf gain of eight. Safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man to man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Pass to Walker. That's enough for a first down. This has been a methodical drive for the most part. Gain of four now. First and ten from the 17. Geno Smith handoff to Kenneth Walker. He tackled after a rush of Warren. He's creeping towards 100 yards. And stick with Walker, B.J. Olawari makes the tackle at the line of scrimmage, no gain. Third and nine, the Seattle death march is happening. Smith. D.K. Metcalf catch. Tackled into the end zone. Seahawks retake the lead. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands on knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Going for two. This is a handoff. Not to Kenneth Walker. To some other dude. Doesn't do anything. We are up five. Or Seattle's up five. Myers to. Bacchelia. Another chance to make something happen. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Second touchdown return specialist. Kick returns are stupid easy in this game. Especially if you have a guy with 97 speed. I have White Devin Hester. Jesus Christ! <laughs> we should go back up one. <laughs> Traders kick off. Touchback. DK Metcalf three touchdowns. I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. Catch by Ty Lockett. Jesus Christ. Don't tell me this is what this game's going to devolve to. Why didn't you catch it? Why didn't you catch it? Why did you just dunk at his. Just hit him. He dove into it. Why did he try hit sticking the football? Smith, an incomplete pass on first. I formation. There's a fullback in the backfield. <laughs> this game is just degraded into shenanigans. Gino throwing to nobody. I'm saying I know who that was going to. It was going to DK Metcalf, and he didn't even have a chance. To the air again, Smith. The cards get to him here. He's 
Cardinals get to him. BJ Lawari his first sack of the game. Able to get him down for a loss of a loss of an eleven. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. And Bacchellia now back to return a punt. What could happen here? Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. He gets smothered. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Uh, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're, we're really he is it, human. Only on punt returns. Game. This is turned into Hand off to James Conner. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. James Conner runs over a man, game of 13 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but we got to start pulling. Taking the air out of this game. The game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just gonna say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right. Gain of three there. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start again. for him. This will be caught once again by Brown. Marquise Brown makes a man miss to the 35. Let's see what they got this time. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block? Gonna hand this one off. Probably shouldn't have handed this one off. James Conner upended and is injured. Sometimes it can break big. Now we're gonna get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing quickly. That's caught by Brown. Out caught by Brown. Gain of four. Gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Same play. Got a man. It's Brown. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got I'm surprised it didn't work. Witherspoon oh, makes the tackle. The Evan Witherspoon. Let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? Swarming to it and not allowing that to happen. Did not let him get downfield. We're going to take this kick at the... Uh, yeah, maybe not on a screen. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field. As time has Which ends in the field here in the fourth quarter. quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. And we've got a dandy here. One point game as we begin the fourth. Traders kick is up. Prater's it's away. It is good. good. And now move their lead up to four now. And so they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question. Our lead is now up to four. It's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction. Raiders kick. All of a sudden they're down. It's going to be returnable. A one. That it's up to the 21. So past the 20, call it the 21. You see Geno Smith. The Seattle offense. We take a peek at the playoff race coming into the weekend in the NFC. And what they do know is that they'll be playing at home come January, at least for one game. DJ Olawari makes a tackle for a loss. We know that because that guarantees you home field advantage throughout the playoffs. But whether or not that's in the cards or not, you have to be impressed with Playing spoiler right now to Seattle. Here's Smith now on second down. Geno Smith led Kenneth Walker too much. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first ring was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. From the gun, here's Smith. And that is incomplete. Nice back to back. Christian Matthew makes the play, I believe. And we see another punt. Now here's Michael Dixon, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return and as he was covered. Basically no return. The Cardinal offense takes back over. Their defense.
defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll begin on the ground with Clement. Clement, game of one. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Gonna hold on to this ball, take some air out of it. Slow drag. On second down, yeah, stuck on some offensive linemen and some other stuff. Gain up to the gain of nine after all that. set out there on third and one for all these possessions out and we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona flag comes in expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors but not the home team they're supposed to get all the advantages right the home crowd's supposed to help them they forgot <laughs> To throw on third down. Win. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad he didn't hold on to that. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now. Matt Hawk out. Forced to kick for the sixth time today. First punt of this uh, half. Not great. Got some blockers. Lockett makes one man miss up to the 32. We see Geno Smith again. 747 remaining. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, somebody make the tackle. LJ Collier injured. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. That was bad. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff uh, is going to have to take Seattle a Seattle now up to the 43 of Arizona. And Kenneth Walker gain up to the 30, thir gain of 13. First down, Seattle on a pick Collier's out. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. And it's a quick slam to Lockett. Catch by Ty Lockett, gain of five. Five after a gain of five. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he Gino Smith about, it about, throwing it to Ty Lockett again, gain of nothing. He wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the ball. The Seahawks on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This will be third and five. It's going to be play action. It's the play action path. I know it. They're going to burn me on it. It's caught. Lock it. <laughs> Lock it. Every time. I just tried diving at his knees and I missed him. Like. Catch some of the replay there. I, I probably dove way too. Pff, yes. Zoom out. I dove way too early as he was making that move. And. Gain of 11. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for him. Touchdown! Tyler Lockett. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks have moved out in front here in the fourth This to go up three. And they do. By Myers, and that gives them a three-point lead. You get to see Bacchellia again. Touchdown! Here's Myers to boot it away. Can he make it three for three? From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. No. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about Up to the twenty. He's, the He's human. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. 
We certainly have a good one on our hands. Don't have Trailing to go quick yet. Touchdown. Three timeouts, 5:30. For this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Win. Escaping the pressure right. Good Dives for Besser win. The first down a 13 yard run. So there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I... Zach Ertz gained a six. That's a win. Nice it's 116 yards rushing, passing. And realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense. So that you can have people around the ball when it's caught. And you don't give up much run after the catch. They run out of the gun with Clement. Clement. Damn. He gets the first down. He gets the first down. and 10 win this is Ertz on the pitch Ertz. and catch they picked up five shoved out of bounds but gets the first down and the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath if they've got good hands then of course they're a dynamic target but one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play and that makes it easier for the quarterback Going to pick up. him out and deliver knocked down First down, but it winds up incomplete. Just because you got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive. Now we don't have the lead in the fourth though. That time it didn't work out. And off to Clement. Back to the running game. And able to Tackled after a lot of gain of three. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On third down, win. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want. Anytime they want to throw the football, there's pressure on the quarterback. <laughs> Matt Prater him, from 59 yards out. The oh. And forced the incompletion. It's up. Prater's kick is good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Matt Prater from 59 yards. Automatic. And that one might just rank right up there. And you know you can hear the crowd react, right? But I was focused in on the sideline and watched them absolutely erupt. I don't know how many of them thought that he was actually going to make that kick, but how about how they felt when the ball went over the post? Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied that up kick the is kick kneeled away. down. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. I'm Kenneth Walker and the Seahawks. After that last field Tied. All up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. Kenneth Walker, and game of 11, the 38 yard 12, give him 13. Yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. First and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Smith and Jigba, with his Smith and Jigba tackled. You have to start worrying about time management here. Because we go to the two-minute warning. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Two minutes to go. Seahawks have the ball. This is first and At the 42. Full backfield here. Hand off to Walker. Walker. He gets and taken down after a game of one. He stopped up at about the 41. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting I said I. W. <clears throat> In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Sticking with Walker on second down. Walker tackled after a game of three. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. well the noise got to be an issue now offensively. 
Here's third and six. On third down, here's Walker. Walker tackled after a game of a four. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it, especially where they are in terms of field position. Because Ice the kicker here. Man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I like the old rule. Game from the 35. Nine-tenths of the ball. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. He makes it. Myers kick. <laughs> Just gets in. In the final minute. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and we need Bacchelli here. Yeah, that's all be a hero because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game. But to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, oh no, this is all on dresser win. 26 seconds to go. A chance to end this season with a bang as they come up with a first and 10. 26 seconds to go, two timeouts. They'll look to throw. And that's complete to Brown. Brown with a stick. <laughs> take this to the Brown gets out of bounds. We are sticking with Dresser win. Seattle is about to get dressered. He'll look to throw. This is caught. <laughs> it's caught. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside. At the 26. The That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Zach Ertz has it complete. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. Here's first and goal. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. So from the two, now they move back to the seven-yard line. First and goal. Eluding the pressure right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up... I'm, I can't Maybe believe I'm kicking this. Temptation here to try to go for the win, but I think you got to kick the field goal. I agree totally. When you look at the time left on the clock, <laughs> of course. Not where you take the gamble. Go ahead and kick the field goal here and take it from there. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal, and they will get the timeout. So three seconds remaining. And they can trot out the field goal unit and try to send this one to overtime. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. With three seconds to go, if it's good, we're off to overtime. And that hits the right upright but goes in anyway. Oh, bounce there that could have gone either way easily, but he gets it to go. And this game is tied. What is this so game? Teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes. Go on, give me okay. the ball. So hey, it's the Seahawks ball. Sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, I'm about to get Kenneth Walker. Gets a possession, and after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. I'm about to get, no it's not, because I'm about to get Kenneth Walker. 6.55 remaining. This is going to be a kneel down. We see Geno Smith. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles. <laughs> My palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the Can the Cardinals defense win it? Overtime. And as we know from here on out, any point... Oh, Ty Lockett here. gets a first down. Towers, well, partner, I've got one for myself, but let's face it. Our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. This game ends in a tie, I swear to Jesus. 
Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? Throw away from Geno Smith. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. On second down, here's Smith. Left side, he finds Game Smith about six. Jackson six. Smith and Jigba. All of this in a tanking effort by the way. Thirty four. You gotta be able to do it all. Of course you gotta run fast. Of course you gotta catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. DK Metcalf went out of bounds. He didn't get the first down. We have a chance. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon on for a very important punt here in overtime. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's time for Dresser Win to win the game. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, this is the way Good catch by Marquise Brown. Dresser Win goes over 225. Safety, a pick six, fumble return, you can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series. Clement, gain of nothing. No room to be had there on the first down run. Looks like if we're going to do it, it's going to be scrimmage. all on the shoulders of Dresser, of the man named Dresser Win. Back to throw now on second and ten. Well, oh, I thought I had a lane to get away. This is a problem. And defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback. He's not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, and it's intercepted. Tariq Rowland picks it. And the Seahawks are going to have it with a chance to win the game here in overtime. Both offenses sputtering a little bit here in overtime, Charles. But give credit to the defense. Tariq Woolen with the interception. Last play. That is a huge interception. As Dresser Wynn was getting hit. That. They deserve the credit because they forced a punt on the opening drive of overtime. You know no one wants to give up the ball in OT. And now you have them back Cardinals don't the have to go, or the Seahawks don't game, have to go far. Geno Smith made. trying to do something. After the interception, here's Smith. Garrett Williams with the interception. To win the game here in overtime. Gigantic play by this defense, Charles. So they came back. <laughs> this game is going to end in a tie. Overtime, and now they take the football. And how do you think the team it's just going to end in a tie? Right they surrendered the lead, got to overtime, had the chance to redeem themselves, and now they put the game in jeopardy. What is going on? My offense attackers just go somewhere and run. 19 yards there on the catch. <laughs> Dresser win up to 244. So with a veteran there and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys <laughs> they give game. you fresh legs and give you all that bounce. Yes. But in this type of a situation, sometimes his legs slow down. Corey Clement and Dana Warren. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Once again, it's Clement. Clement, I just, I couldn't get off that guy. Gain of three. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually... Clement, gain of one, it's on the kicker. We're going to the two-minute warning. That's really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. 49 yards from Matt Prater. We see the timeout from Pete Carroll. Picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Case Cookus, the man holding it. The long snapper is a dude. So here's the veteran kicker, Matt Prater. This to win it in overtime. Matt Prater's kick is up. It's... 
time he's able to split the uprights. And the Cardinals win it. All that in the tanking effort. see a group score this many points. It's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. Yeah, Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that Matt one. Matt Prater, that much the man who gets the and it win. And comes down to one possession game at the end. That's not something we see very often. And Dresser case, win, uh, offenses, they one it. touchdown, 244. They're going to need some work going forward. 52% so completion and percentage. Geno Smith, 373, five touchdowns. The type of year they were hoping to that year... This, this season is over. That game, hallelujah, is over. Two kick returns for touchdowns. <laughs> Dresser win doesn't even get upgrade points. The punter, Matt Hawk, who isn't going to be on the team. Here soon. And then BJ Olawari, who will be on the team for a bit. <sighs> oh, thank God that game's over. That was... <laughs> that game... Advance to the wild card. I don't know if there's anything I can take care of. That contract got extended. Three years for five million dollars. See all staff moves. Who got fired? Marshawn Wallace fired. Ian Alexander fired. Sean Payton fired. Jeff Powell and Clyde Holland fired. That's a bad look for Sean Payton. Bob Bates of the Buccaneers fired. Seth Henry of offensive coordinator of Chargers fired. Sammy Wagner, defensive coordinator, fired. Offensive coordinator Gary Crawford fired. Kevin McGovern of <laughs> fired. 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 That's a rough look for Sean Payton there. Is he the only head, Sean Payton's the only head coach fired. That's awesome. Bring, I can't bring Sean Payton to Arizona. I am the coach. View the playoff bracket after. So the Chiefs dominate the Jets. The Raiders somehow are in the playoffs and they're playing the Ravens. Bills beat the Steelers. The Seahawks, after losing to us, we're, we're just going to call it we killed morale in the Seattle Seahawks. We caused the Seahawks to lose in the wild card round. Cowboys are out, shocker. C Commies are out, shocker. Oh, wait, no, the Cowboys won. Oh, that is a shocker. Advance a week. Ravens, Chiefs, Eagles, Cow Eagles, Cowboys. I swear to God, the Cowboys win. If the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, I swear to Jesus. If you playoff bracket, please tell me it's 
It's Cowboys Ravens. We know this is fake. This is a sim. Cowboys are winning everything. Let's look at the Pro Bowl roster. Jalen Hurts, Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen, Brock Purdy, Geno Smith, Aaron Rodgers, McCaffrey Taylor, Kenneth Walker, Nick Chubb, Brian Robinson, or it could be Bijan Robinson. Um, probably Bijan. Josh Jacobs, Kyle Yushak, and Nick Baldwin. Those guys. Adam Thielen, Stephon Diggs, Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, Brandon Ayuk, McCole Hardman. Nobody, nobody from the Cardinals offense. Andre Diggs. Matt Prater. He did it. Matt Prater did it. He made the Pro Bowl for us. Super Bowl 58 between the... Uh... Oh, wait. We had somebody win Rookie of the Year, apparently. Year of the Awards. Let's see them. MVP, Pat Mahomes. We have anybody. Oh, they just do the top ten. Coach of the year. Nick Sirianni. Where were we at? Not. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Lamar Jackson. Defensive Player of the Year. Matt Milano. Rookie of the Year. Zay Flowers. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Will Anderson. Best QB. Lamar. Best running back, Jonathan Taylor. Best wide receiver, Dante Adams. Best offensive lineman, Kevin Zeitler. Defensive lineman, Von Miller. Best linebacker, Joey Bosa. Okay, whatever. Um, defensive back, Kenny Moore. How you doing, Pat? Best kicker, Matt Gay. AFC or NFC, CD Lamb is player offensive player of the year. <laughs> I, yeah, we don't talk about that. Defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald, shocker. Do we have anybody? No. What about offensive player of the year? No. Offensive rookie of the year, Bijan Robinson. Clayton Toon finished ninth for offensive rookie of the year. Defensive, defensive Rookie of the Year, Garrett Williams. Okay. Defensive back. QB. Uh, Clayton Toon, nowhere in there. How do I feel? Uh, anybody. Could, Trey Lance is bad. Clayton Toon wouldn't have been... Um, He wouldn't have won Rookie of the Year if, uh, even if he did play. He just would have finished above Sam Laporta. Maybe Jonathan Mingo. Maybe Jameer Gibbs. Definitely not above Jaden Reed or JSN or Jordan Addison or Bryce Young or Bijan Robinson. Wide receiver CD Lamb. Offensive lineman Zach Martin. Defensive lineman Aaron Donald, linebacker Son Reddick, Rashawn Gary. Oh, BJ Olawarian, Zayvon Collins, um, Christian Matthew, DB, best kicker Brett Maher. Matt Prater finished third. Okay. Can upgrade some players. 
Garrett Williams gets an upgrade. Um, the, the, the Cowboys are in the Super Bowl. That's that's all. I, that's that's it. Against the Ravens, Super Bowl Fifty Eight, Cowboys Ravens. Advance a week to the off season, and the winner of Super Bowl Fifty Eight is the Baltimore Ravens. Meaning, Lamar Jackson the Super Bowl MVP. Marlon Humphrey was Super Bowl MVP. We're retaining Clayton Toon. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll give him a year. <coughs> Who the fuck are all of these people? Half of them didn't play. Okay, let's end this episode of episode 5 so we can start episode 6.